Hi, uh, tonight I'm in um, Po after stage uh, 13 of the tour. Um, so I thought I'd give you a little wrap of uh, what happened today or in today's stage. Um, well, there's, there was sort of one major climb in today's stage, the Col de Orbisque. And um, probably on paper, it was the first day that uh, it was uh, really meant for a breakaway to go all the way to the finish. Um, so I sort of set my sights on uh, trying to get in that breakaway, as did. Um, and the other guy on the team who was trying to do that was Edvold. So um, we were up the front there and ready to, ready to go right from the start. Um, and until this point, the breakaways have been going away really easy. So um, and today we were kind of hoping for the same thing and hoping to be in there. However, it took um, 55 k's for the break to go today, so an hour of sort of full gas racing. Um, Edvold and I covered all the major breaks that were going off the front. Um, and fortunately he slipped into the to the move after, like I said, 55 k's, and um, I missed out, but I can promise you it wasn't through a lack of lack of trying. Um, once that break went away, there were kind of there were 10 guys there, um, and uh, they sort of got a good gap, and they they called a bisque, and it was kind of every man for himself then, um, and uh, tore into that winning the stage. He did a fantastic ride. Um, it was a super, super strong effort. Another good ride by Jeremy Roir from Francis de Jure. Um, he's got to be getting closer and closer to a stage win here. Um, for myself, after I sort of missed that breakaway, I sort of slipped back into the peloton and um, and then sort of got to the finish uh, as easy as possible. Sort of slipped off the back of the main bunch on the on the climb and um, and finished a uh, fair way down, but uh, well and truly inside the time limit, saving uh, saving as much energy as I can for the, for the days to come. And uh, yeah, we'll keep trying.